Cheers guys, Epix911, welcome to the Elitist Geek and a video that's been a long time coming. I got zero excuses except that I am now in the man cave and the man cave rocks. It is freaking awesome. I've been using the gym, trying to get my health back on track, my little um, elbow tendonitis uh, finally healed. So uh, no more beers for a while, we'll see how long this one lasts, but uh, doing it with my wife, that's a good thing. So. Uh, and on the gaming front, things have been pretty, pretty frantic. There's been some uh, new game acquisitions. I'm going to show you guys a couple of those today, and then we'll get into some more details later. But these were games that I hadn't heard about uh, advertised at all. And I basically walked into Willow, which is kind of the local video game store. They sell used games. They're basically EB, but with better deals Plus they're local, they're not an American chain. So whenever possible, I try to support them. Um, they're just an awesome store. So with that said, what did I see? Two games. The first one was Legend of Legacy. And that is uh, an RPG, turn-based JRPG. Uh, Atlas, of course. Like, is Atlas just not the best handheld RPG company ever? The fact that they can take Japanese-only gems and get them published in our market is just an awesome thing. I've got localization issues. I always do. You guys know that. I, I think localization can happen a lot quicker than it does. But with that said, still not a bad thing. And then this one, which I actually like the better of the two, Stella Glow. Yes, the title looks a little kind of lame. And you're thinking, okay, what is this? Is this some kind of relationship simulator? Um, no. Hell no. Stella Glow is an SRPG, strategy RPG. It's turn-based. It's uh, Ogre Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Joan of Arc. You name the turn-based game, it's in that vein, except better. It is freaking awesome. It is such an awesome turn-based game, and it could just be that I've been starved <laughs> for uh, a good strategy RPG but I think it goes beyond that and at first glance it kind of looks crappy oh you know you got two copies that are obviously um, collector's editions they didn't have the regular ones I don't mind there's some good stuff in this let's start with Legend of Legacy this art book alone was worth the price of admission you know yeah it looks a little looks a little pretty right you know you got some pretty pictures. It's hardcover to start with. It's not a cheap, soft cover. And oh my god, the art in there is just amazing. Like, it is fantastic. The monster designs, the character designs. Like, here's dragons, for example, right? Like, look at that. Just really quality. Um, show you guys one more thing here. So here's some sea monsters. Like, look at that. Really, really quality art. And page-wise, oh, even the backgrounds. There's backgrounds as well. Show you guys that real quick. Backgrounds. And you know what? Let's do the characters. Let's just show you guys the characters as well. So you've got five kind of main characters in this game. Um, well, at least at the start, right? So here we go. So you've got kind of the realistic look on the one side and then kind of the, the animate outlook, right? So here, let's balance the camera. Bianca. Um, Liber, Liber. I don't know. They, they have different names inside the game, but whatever show you right here like just gorgeous art really really impressed Owen uh, Filmia haven't met this frog dude yet I imagine that's coming I think there's 12 10 to 12 chapters in the game I'm on chapter 3 right and then uh, yeah, and the rest goes into the monster designs. The dragons that I showed you, and then some other stuff. So you get that in there. 
and the soundtrack. So there's a soundtrack CD, Legend of Legacy, has that many songs, 10 songs. What are they? Uh, main Theme, Avalon, Initium, Forest Runes, Elemental Battle, Victory, The Singing Stone, Akiro Poitus Cathedral, Guardians, and Unknown Truth. Now, at first listen, I wasn't really sold on the music, one way or the other, but it's that kind of music where it can loop and doesn't drive you nuts. There's nothing worse than a looping track that has you wanting to gouge your eyes out with a blunt spoon. Like it, there's enough games like that. You know, you know the type, right? You want to kill the volume, and uh, this is not one of them. This actually grows on you, and it always sounds original. It's very orchestral, which kind of was off-putting at first, but ended up being awesome. Uh, so that's Legend of Legacy. Even better, music-wise, is Stella Glow. Like, to be honest, I haven't played much of Legend of Legacy. You know, maybe maybe a couple of hours, right? Because Stella Glow's been taking all my time. So what do you get in Stella Glow? Well, you don't get the awesome art book, but you get a really cool cloth map. Stella Glow, so I'm gonna probably get that framed. Put that up. You guys know I'm a geek for the toys. I'll fold this up again here real quick. And there we go. And the soundtrack. So not as good as the other one, but the fact that it's such an awesome game. So, you know, there's the CD and it has five tracks. So I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. They're all in Japanese. There you go. Let's bring it up a little close. There you go. So you got what, 9, 13, 17, 21 plus extra, 22 minutes of songs? Not bad, not bad. Good music, really, really good music. Um, so once again, that's Stella Glow and Legend of Legacy. Two fantastic, fantastic games. Well, I won't say Legend of Legacy is fantastic because I've only played two hours of it. I'm when I'm saying they are fantastic, I'm really talking about Stella Glow. Stella Glow is awesome. Legend of Legacy, we'll revisit that. Um, the box, the book art is nice. As for the game, so far it seems kind of very standard JRPG, but again, I'm two hours in, right? You're not gonna know much about a game, right? Uh, all the standard tropes are there, you know, you, the wake up and mommy and all that kind of stuff. But Stella Glow, which also starts like that, really starts picking up pace story-wise. So super awesome, highly recommend it. Uh, you guys have seen these. So I've got a whole, these, like the Nintendo Power Club or whatever, they stopped. Yeah, Club Nintendo. Remember they stopped uh, giving out the points, right? So what I did is I bought these awesome cases. And I might, may have showed these in another video, but there's, uh, there's this case, right? Zelda design and it holds that many right and then I got another one uh, of course Stella Glow which is actually in my 3DS right now so I think I'm up to 29 3DS games and then I've got uh, the DS here and then the rest of my DS games in this holder right so uh, admittedly, I'm missing some key DS games, and I'll, I'll grab those. As I can find them used, I tend to pick them up. But anyways, um, that's kind of what I've been spending a lot of time playing. It's really, really good. Let's see if I can get you guys just a, a quick, I happen to be in battle here, yeah. I'll turn the 3D off. You can see I'm actually in game. The battle maps are, are pretty cool. The bottom is for all your stats, right? And um, again, because it's the new 3DS, I never ever turn 3D off because it actually works. It's so nice to have 3D work. No matter how you're looking at it, it just works. You can finally appreciate the 3D on this machine instead of turning it off because it's a nuisance, right? So that was good. Um, what else did I get? 
I got some really cool stuff for the man cave. The Millennium Falcon alarm clock. This has got to be my favorite chip of all time. Uh, when I was in grade four, I convinced a buddy of mine that in a field near a shopping mall, a field with lots of trees and a forest, I found the Millennium Falcon and that if we could find it, we could travel around the galaxy. You can imagine, the imagination went apeshit. Um, I was young and yeah, it was kind of a little mean, but I was just as excited at the possibility. We spent about three hours. It was fun. Of course, we never found the Falcon. But now I have a Falcon. I had one actually before, the original Star Wars toy Falcon, which my little brother destroyed, but we won't get into that. But anyways, um, it's pretty cool. It has awesome sound effects, including... Oh, and that lights up. It alternates between that and... Sound effects. <laughs> okay. Put it to the side. I'm also a big Doctor Who geek. So my daughter got me a bunch of the patrolling Daleks. And there's five of them all together. And... Uh, you know what? See if I can actually get the camera. There we go. So Skyrim Dragon, the Mystery Machine. I used to love Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. The Pop Art Daleks, Tom Baker, my doctor, the guy I grew up with. All those Daleks. And then Conan the King. And then, of course, Man Cave. No wife, no kids, no problems. And that's my full-size arcade cabinet that I built. So you can see the... Um, Man Cave is, oh, and I'm showing you guys that, there's a uh, big ass TV. So this is definitely a place that I spend a lot of time, as you can imagine. It is awesome. And sorry about the camera work, guys. It's getting a little dizzy here. I'm just going to put it back and aim it down so it's not hitting the thing. There we go. Well, that's it for now, guys. There will be more videos. Just wanted to give you guys some quick what I've been up to and uh, give you more details on Legend of Legacy as I play it and definitely a proper review on Stella Glow once I finish the game, which I plan on doing within a, probably the next week or two. I'm still on vacation, so there is time to do that. As always, guys, cheers. Till the next time.